you got me i got you i can relate with you i never share anything like this with my mom as well it's my findings and experiences and i learn and i make mistakes and i learn from it so you're lucky to have me to be open and vulnerable to share all these experiences to you and then so that you get more better life and don't also end up doing the same mistake that i for one did okay so if you want to learn all the steps the do's and don't at the sex feminine hygiene tips stay tuned this video is for you hello wonderful hello gorgeous how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing good thanks for tuning in again today and thanks for being here if you're tuning in for the first time my name is cheesy you are watching glam and bless channel this is where we share on hygiene body care shower routine feminine things to be spicy or life together and to achieve all the whole glowing and radiating soft looking skin this is what we do here and at the same time self-love self-care we promote it all here the good vibes hey okay? if you love what you see i love you too and i hope you will stay with me if this is the thing that you really connected with and you really want to explore and know more smash that button subscribe below and click the bell icon beside it that way you stay connected we got banned and you will not miss out any of my videos whenever i upload it you will be the first to get it it's free of charge nobody's gonna charge you okay i'm just passing my message to you Hello. And to my old subscribers, I love you and I love and cherish you all. My returning subscribers, mwah, okay, right. Let's get into the business. Today, we are going to talk about feminine hygiene tips in a very different way, which is something that a lot of people do not like. Yes, we are doing it, which is something that when you say it, a lot of people raise eyebrows. A lot of people don't feel comfortable to discuss it because this is what the society have made us to be. But that's not the right thing. We are changing and are evolving. So we will talk about this. If um, if I could do this, and previously on my vi previous video where I share on how to smell good down there, and a lot of you were just grateful, and at the same time sharing your experiences with me. I'm no longer ashamed to discuss this. I know these things we don't discuss with our mom these things we don't even feel comfortable to say it even when we should have done it but we just think too deep and say we don't know how our parents is going to take care of it so you got me i got you i can relate with you i never share anything like this with my mom as well it's my findings and experiences and i learn and i make mistakes and i learn from it so you're lucky to have me to be open and vulnerable to share all these experiences to you and then so that you get more better life and don't also end up doing the same mistake that i for one did okay so if you want to learn all the steps the do's and don't at the sex feminine hygiene tips stay tuned this video is for you and i think even if you think you know a lot about feminine hygiene stay tuned this video is for you as well because i may i will not know it all your knowledge is what i need to add up where you think i miss out from these tips add yours i'll learn from you and you will be amazed as well a lot of people will be learning from your co your comments on the comment section below okay let's start the video my number one tip is don't be in a hurry to go and wash up after sex yes don't be in a hurry to go i know you people will be like what what's she talking about huh immediately i finish i hop out of the bed straight to the bathroom and then wash it off yes that feels to be the right way to do things but i'm here to tell you sis na 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 na, na. you've been doing something a bit wrong okay first thing to do before it gets to the workshop is nothing but to take a tissue paper take a clean organic natural with no scent wipes and wipe off your woman wipe your private area first before you hop into the shower to wash it off you now you guys will ask me cheesy what do you mean what's the difference between washing it and wiping it wiping first help to prevent you and your partner from infections such as urinary tract uti and when you're doing this wipe make sure you go 
you know how we do the cleaning i've done um hygiene feminine hygiene as well on how to clean and clean your back area side make sure you wipe from the front to the back do not go from the back to the front still use that tip it is very important number two is nothing but to empty your bladder you also need to empty your bladder first before washing yes more especially people who are highly active in bed or during sex bacteria can get into your utero utero is the tube that carries urine out of your body that can raise your chances of an infection as well when you pee you flush those germs out so sometimes after sex we don't feel to pee or urinate but i've got a tip which can help you to get to that stage it's nothing but after sex learn to enjoy some cuddles with your partner on the bed before you jump out of the bed another thing which can also help you to start peeing after sex if you're the type that struggle to do that is nothing but the next tip which is drink a glass of water when you stay hydrated you pee more which means more bacteria will flush out of your body before the bacteria flared up so since it's a good idea to pee after sex i will encourage you to leave a glass of water a bottle of water on your bedside so after sex if you don't feel like peeing before you can get into the cuddle take a glass of water and drink then do your partner and wait you will definitely feel it except i don't know this is my own tips i don't know except you're the type who struggle to pee but if you do if you don't a glass of water with a good cuddle will really help you to then pee before you then well, so after the pee then you wipe and then wash see the tape that's how it is in summary with these three tips that i've shared with you for you to achieve these three first tips i've shared with you it's nothing but to drink water first get some cuddle all right and then wait to go and pee and when you now pee then give it a good wipe with clean wipes no scent no chemicals if you don't have wipes use your pepper tissue that will do and then hop into the bath or shower and wash your room in. you get that straight yeah good so the next one is nothing but when you get into the shower how to wash it i know there is a lot of products in the market that has been say to good for our women and when you use it it helps to clean it and also protect you from getting any infection or bacteria after sex dolly I will advise you to be careful with what is in the market some of them are good some of them are not good but the best and the safest way thing to do after sex is nothing but to use a warm water to wash that area do not put in your hand inside to clean it up no it cleans itself inside cleans itself all you just have to do is to wash around the area of your vag that's all wash the tongue yeah use your hand to go around the tongue to clean it with just warm water don't be harsh be gentle just a gentle rinse that's it again after wash as well make sure that you pat dry so well it might smell may not be a sign of a problem because we have our own natural smell there so rinse it and leave it don't touch it anymore let your woman rest another things that you should and i must encourage you to do before and after sex is nothing but to wash your hands this is two ways now it's not just the female to wash their hands the man should wash and your men's nails should be short please these men they leave long nails i don't know how you ladies cope with it i can't honestly it disturbs me this has both of you to stop bacteria that you might pick up from touching each other you touching your man thing and your man touching your thing as well so keep those hands clean it's very important the next tip is nothing but to wear loose clothes all right let's be real here you know sometimes when you have sex with your partner when you spend time with your partner 
you tend to get a little bit of redness and swollen around your women this is simply because there was a lot of bleeding going on the skin tend to feel it because yes it's being tampered and there's a lot of things going on at the moment when you are doing this thing so it is advisable to not wear any tight clothes after sex wear cutting clothes if you are the type that could not go to bed naked it's best that you don't even wear any underwear when you after sex so that so that your women will get air and at the same time that air helps to really calm those redness and swollenness around your woman area it's not a problem that place need air you need that good air giving it that air as well also help to stop from unnecessary smell or odor popping out from your woman so make sure you don't put on anything if you could just put on your t-shirt and then leave down there get into the bed yeah but if you can't because i know some ladies don't feel comfortable to really sleep without any underwear so if you have to please get a cotton or ones that have like baggy open under your legs that way air can go into it as well too while you're sleeping the whole thing will also calm down after sex okay the next one is nothing but to take care of your infections your yeast infection your uti infections yes these things happen mostly if you are the type who are sexually active yes we exchange this men and women exchange this through intercourse yes did you know that yeah i know you guys would be shocked yes men also get yeast infection so make sure you take care of this for the ladies when you are having sex in uh, with your with your man and you're feeling pain more inside this may be a sign of a uti so just have to take care of it i have some supplements which is said to help to really protect you from having a uti through um sex which i'm going to share with you guys that i use as well the cranberry juice you guys know it as well this is really good to protect you from uti and this is another one which is mostly the most important one i don't know if i have shared this with you guys it's called the um demanders i did the research about this and i tried this this works wonders it says to help to protect and fight uti so it's nice you take this once in a while mostly if you're a very active person i take this regularly because this um, cranberry juice is not just that it helps to balance your ph level and fight every bacteria in your body so these two is something i would really suggest and recommend that you buy i'll leave the link on the description box and other things that i will also suggest which are also recommended and suggested could be a signs of any kind of infection yeast infection or uti is nothing but itchiness around your woman and around your man then burning sensations or a thick white discharge for the man and the woman yes i know a lot of people do not know that men get yeast infections they do if you see that whitish discharge coming out of your genital your thing that is it make sure you get yourself checked and tested before the next time you get busy with your partner if you love your partner i don't think you would like to be exchanging unnecessary infections together so yeah sometimes we don't know this we think it's normal and this because we do not know so if you've seen this video and you've experienced it and you still keep quiet don't be that selfish just run get yourself tested i also have um some things that i use to test myself as well for urinary infections as well i shared it with you guys when i shared my feminine hygiene and that one i know is a bit complicated this first one I'll find it I should have it and I'm going to insert the video and then I have a second one that is a lot easier quickly I'll just buy it when I feel anything I'll just buy it and insert it and just check it I'll also show you guys the I'll show you inside the video or the picture of it on the screen as well I don't know what it's called but I've used it and I choose the second one this one which I'll be inserting now because it's a lot easier the previous one takes me a lot of time sometimes i have to get my nurse friend to 
read the result to tell me if everything my ph level and everything is balanced but the one i use more is this one which is a lot easier i don't have any hustle the explanation is a lot easier for you to check if you have any infection the last one for today is not important to get yourself tested this is something i will advise any of you who do not have any partner maybe you have one and then you get that connection and relationship starts and you just feel like you want to bond more with your partner please try and get yourself tested there is a lot of infection and sexual transmitted diseases now and a lot of those are really careless and not take care of ourselves it's not your fault okay this is something that if you're not knowledgeable about it if you are not being told you won't know and this is something as well that there are a lot of sexual transmitted diseases that we can't see and the symptom doesn't even come you don't you have them with no symptoms but you don't know you'll be carrying this on, on yourself so it's advised that you get your man tested and your woman tested first before you have sex with the person it's very vital and important thing to do not just sexual transmitted diseases hiv all those things sex is supposed to be something to enjoy and not something to do and regret and be bitter afterwards because of silly or little mistakes that we make so getting yourself tested is the best way for you to know if there is anything or not you might be looking healthy everything feel right you might be amazed when you get yourself tested and you'll be told you've got this kind of sexual transmitted diseases in you bacteria or infections in you this is something you need to do if you love the person you want to spend the rest of your life with or if you love the person you want to spend the moment with do this it's very important we do this i do it i'm not going to lie i do it so i am not going to lie i learn from my mistakes every day one of the things that you should watch out if by chance that you just have find yourself having sex with somebody without telling the person to get tested is nothing but to see maybe after weeks and months of having sex with the person if there is any discharge any pain blisters lumps spots if you see any of these symptoms the best thing to do is nothing but to rush to the gp rush to your health center hospital anywhere close to you to get you tested and treated as sap that will be it for me today i hope you guys learned something new today and i also want to know your own tips on things to do and don't do after sex let me know on the comment section we are on this together we are learning together appreciate your time but if you enjoy this and you love this and you learn something new smash that like button and subscribe make sure you follow me on my instagram we can chat more there if you have some personal things you want us to do i'll also leave my email address on the description box as well send me email if you do do not want to comment on the comment section because i get this often whenever i do this kind of videos i'm happy to be there for you you got me your best friend here your mom your sister which you do not have or maybe you do not have confidence to do trust me it's going to be a safe relationship between me and you okay i love you all for your time thanks for watching Bye bye